Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. So, if you've been having a hard time trying to get some pretty cool surface imperfection for your models, today we're looking at an amazing plugin known as Smudger Pro. This tool is made available by Oliver J. Post. And the main idea for this tool is to help you get all of those smudges, those fingerprints, those surface imperfections, those dust, those grungy stuff directly on your model with a click of a button. Now, without further ado, we're going to go directly into Blender and take a look at how this is done. So, with Blender open right here, if you have the plugin, all you need to do is go over to Edit, go over to Preference, and yeah, you can do all of that installation stuff. But for this particular plugin, you don't press N on the keyboard to see it here because this is, you know, a shader plugin and you would only find it within the material section. So, for us to actually take a look at how this works we have ourselves a very cool looking model right here let's press g to move this all the way to the front cool so with this model here let's switch this over to the shading so you can see what the shader looks like so if i select that you can see we only have the principal bsdf so how this works is very very simple what we need to do is go over here towards the material properties i'm also going to move this all the way to the side and reduce this all the way down so all of the materials that you have directly on your model you get to find them under the smudger pro that lives here so select the material that you want scroll all the way down and simply click on add smudger setup but before you do that you might want to take a look at the presets that exist here so we have a brand new dusty well used and very old and if you want dusty stuff of course you can use that if you want a brand new one of course you can use that so let's simply use the brand new so you guys can see how to set these things up so by simply selecting the material that I want which is obviously the sofa leather I will click on add smudger setup now once we click on add smudger setup you don't see any change let's switch this over to Eevee just to see what we have we don't see anything new happening and once you look down here you would also notice now we have dust smudge scratch wear and droplets these are the surface imperfections and overlays that you can throw into your model or onto your model so if you want to get some dust all you need to do is just simply click on add dust and you would find those amazing dust happening here. Now, one beautiful thing to also keep in mind is the textures that you have here are ranging all the way from 1K to 4K. You have about 25 different textures that you can play with and you can still go in there, randomize them, use the default noise that exists in Blender to also tweak these things to your liking. So with this dust right now, we can choose to multiply the dust. We can also choose to, you know, push the dust side by side. If we want to influence or play with the influence for the dust, we can also do that. If you want to change the color, you can also do this. But this doesn't look so nice. I mean, it doesn't look like what we want. So what do we want? We want to be able to play with the influence map so we can tweak this to our heart content. And to do that, all you need to do is to go over to this part called the influence map and click right here now once we click on the influence map you would notice that it opens up a very tiny section here where you can now click and start editing the influence map you can choose to edit this influence map depending on how you find comfortable if you want to use noise you want to paint textures you want to use gradients this is totally fine and doing this is very simple as you can click on preview influence map and you would see what the preview looks like in black and white and the next thing which you would like to do is to play with with the blacks and the whites and remember while you're trying to texture or create some amazing looking materials wherever you get to see that is black simply means that it's going to be invisible and the white simply means visible so if you punch this all the way white you can see a very clear definition of black and white but we're going to tone this down a bit so that we can see that tiny bit of fall off that will make it even way more organic so if you want to play with the multiplier of course you can do that if you want to drop that down of course you can do this now if you're done with everything that you want to do all you need to do is to simply click on stop previewing you will now notice that we have that influence happening here i can also choose to you know reduce the blacks right now of course you can see that and i can also choose to play and increase the white if you don't like this particular map that we're working with you can choose from a big array of maps that exist and this is totally fine you can also choose to play with things like that so if you want to get some overlay looking like this of course you can do that and once you're comfortable with what you want or maybe once you're done tweaking whatever you want you can simply go over to the multiplier and you can drop the multiplier 
a little bit down and this way you now have a couple of dots directly on your model how easy is this now with this you can still go in there and start making some extra tweaks so for example let's say we want to add some smudges we like smudges so let's add them we can click right here to add some smudges and you can see that directly under the smudges we have smudges stains and wipes you can choose stain if stain is something that you like of course you can choose to do that and the very same way that we played with the influencing is also how you can choose to play with influencing so let's do that real quick other things that you can also do is you can still choose to use the texture painting and for the texture painting if you have the object selected switch over to texture painting click on start painting you can actually start painting where you want the textures to be and what smudger will do is it's going to pick up all the places that you're painting all of these paintings that you're doing right here so once you're done painting you know you can use the blur brush do all of those fanciful stuff you want this is if you want to add direct this by yourself and once you're done you can simply click on pick up image and it's going to pick up the image then you can stop this and of course it's going to load directly back and you can start seeing what you want so in this way you already have the smudges right there so you can play with a couple of things if you want to throw in some scratches of course you can throw in some scratches right there if you want to throw in some wares you can also choose to throw that in and of course there is also a pretty cool cavity and edge wear tool that also exists so this is just in case you want to start creating some very cool looking surface imperfections and if you would like to get this tool there's going to be a link in the description where you can find this and get it and right now there is actually a 25 percent discount and you can simply use the coupon code pro to get this going for you so if you also want to play with other ones you can simply get this tool and play with the dusty well used and also very old and this tool actually comes with a couple of features like the baking for cavity maps that you can do either live or you can get the edge wear that you can also preview with live stuff and if you're thinking about using water liquids and stuff like that there's also a very cool water droplet looking texture that you can apply to things like glass and you can also proceed to start mixing this and getting some pretty cool results by simply using this awesome add-on known as smudger pro so tell me what you guys think about this in the comment section and of course if you want to get this tool there's going to be a link in the description and if you like this video or you learned something from this you can go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to share with a friend and if you're new here it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so that you don't miss the next video or the next update and until i see you guys again with a tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this peace